Hola. Um, so let's take off. I always say take off. I mean, continue where we left off last time with uh, the failing zoo. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Let's see. I have two stars, but the keepers can't reach the poop. I have fired the maintenance worker, so I have to do this now. Mostly keep us sleepy. That's his name, right? That's keep us steel, but there was a keep us sleepy as well. I'm sure of it, right? And uh, but uh, look, I I have unlocked quite a lot of new content, which maybe one day when I'm not twenty thousand dollars in debt, <laughs> maybe I'll be able to buy those cool things. So let's see. Uh, and I built. A little corner for the RX, and I put the water portable, the sea turtles, um, in the in the uh, in this area here, somewhere. Oh yeah, and I also got these Kentosauruses and the baby Archaeopteryxes hatched. These things keep running into the water. Kentosaurus. Okay, um, let's go dig. Up whatever this fossil is. Stokey, St Stokesaurus? Talk St Stokesosaurus. I have no idea what that one looks like. Or what its background is. But if I have one, I can read the little purple book and I will be able to inform us. <laughs> Why is this person angry? This mu the zoo isn't amusing enough for me. Your favorite animal is literally the turtle that I have over here. Can't you see it in its majesty? Let me, let me see, if I walk around here, do I see the turtle? <laughs> Not really, eh? But in there somewhere, there is a turtle. I'm unable to reach fair enough. So how do I make more money? Any tips? Play build playgrounds. Okay, I need money. I need money to make money is essentially what it comes down to. Let me go see what's happening on the other side. So last time I also, I lowered this whole thing. So this is actually a lot better in terms of viewing, I would say. Yeah. We run to that little cafeteria place over there. See if there's any bins that I need to clean. Yeah, they are. They're quite full. I don't know if firing the maintenance worker was the best move. But they did nothing. <laughs> yeah, I do need to connect this bridge at some point again, because currently people can't really see this enclosure and they also can't reach that part of my zoo, which is not ideal. That's why I built this in the first place. <laughs> So that people can see here. So what I can do is I can just do the same sort of thing where I happy. Why are you in the desert again? The same sort of thing where I just um, lower all of this, but uh, there's no road, no path going that way anyway. So it would all be in vain. A slippy can't reach things again. All right, let's see what animals do I need more of. I have enough dodos. These things complain. I'm gonna send those to the wild. I only have two quahas, so I'll make more quahas, and that's enough styracosauruses. Obviously, I only have one green sea turtle, and if I get, if I get. 
enough donations for them, I believe I will get a cash grant of some sort. So let's see. I have to be careful not to touch the mouse pad because uh, otherwise it doesn't pick it up. Horse squacker? Right, so a little additional quacker, and then when the lab's ready, I'll make another one, and then another one. <laughs> Just like DJ Khaled. Um, I can jump. If you use the mouse button, you can. I wonder if I can jump off of here. <laughs> Right, I like it when the things give birth. It said Dodo gave birth, Dodo's lay eggs, but I'll take it. Because then I get these balloon bouquets that I can just delete for I've already earned more than 300 donations and received a significant cash grant of 2,000. Mm, it helps. I'm still very much in debt though. Maybe it's time I make it really expensive to come into the zoo. See how that goes. I can also increase the prices of each of these things, but then the guests, because they, they keep commenting on, oh, this is moderately priced, or this is well priced, or whatever. So I suspect that that is something that they're going to complain about a lot if I raise the prices. So I won't raise the prices of the food stands, only the gate for now. like a mixture between the Zoo Tycoon theme and the Simpsons theme. Let's go dig some fossils while we wait for the lab. I can now make, now make the Stoke, Stokesaurus. I still don't know. I still don't know it. Paleontologist is the, that's a very creepy laugh by the way, and <laughs> this paleontologist is the only one that's actually doing their job really well and finding fossils because everyone else's job, the zookeepers, I come into the cage, I can just, you know, rake the poop and brush the animals in seconds. Maintenance, clear the trash, takes seconds, but this paleontologist, like I've been at this for a while, a few minutes now, well, at least a minute or two now. <laughs> I found nothing. Where is it? This is the maintenance worker's job. Clean this trash can. Yep, that's it. <laughs> the other one wasn't even full. And then of course on that side, clean this trash can. That's the extent of their job. And they couldn't do that. Well, well deserved to be fired. The zookeepers are doing all right. They just seem to struggle to get to the right place in time. Why are you angry? 
I'm parched. Then buy soda. Uh, let's see, how far do you think we're along with the donations for the Haunt RX? About halfway. I can probably see that over here. Donations. Donation boxes. And no. Ah, oh, yeah. There you go. By donations by species. The Proteoctrixes, yeah, yeah. Prote Proto have 2,000 in donations, that's a lot. Subotherium so have 1,100, also a lot. Um, and where's that turtle? 473, and it hasn't been here for very long, so that's quite impressive actually. That turtle's a good addition to the zoo. And is it happy? Yeah, it seems quite happy. Good turtle. I can ride with this turtle as well. Okay, this turtle is my new favorite. It does not complain, it's not even in the right biome. It's happy, brings money in. This is good turtle. I've lost it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Good turtle. Okay, we can probably build some stuff here. Oh, well, let's make another cracker first. Because you also get um, fame in your zoo from just having a lot of animals, so it's worth it. I have a blue eye, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. <laughs> I um, got demolished at MMA yesterday. <laughs> The coach hit me in succession, he got me, boom, in the liver, <laughs> boom, in the solar plexus, knocks my breath out, boom, knocks me down with the left hook. <laughs> I'm just there on the floor. <laughs> and the funny thing is he was being nice, because <laughs> he can hit a lot harder than that. Um, right. The zookeepers are here, so I don't think I need to be here, let me just go. Clear the trash. Clearing the trash has actually turned out to be a quite a quite a full time job here. I keep going back and forth clearing the same two trash cans. There's a decent amount of people donating at the very edge here, so they clearly go there. And eventually, if I can get this back. <laughs> So 240 uh, for is there an donation box over here somewhere as well? No, that's weird. I should have definitely put one over here as well. Maybe somewhere along the walkway? No, only at the entrance. That's weird. And shame these guys just they just stand here with their expressionless faces. Right. This is the old part of the zoo, the inaccessible part. More animals, of course, also mean more births, so more balloons. Oh, that's some loud chewing. Who's doing that? I think it's the guest. <laughs> um. All right, well, let's continue making animals. Uh, let's build something. So I can build a blue bark, the Arox, giant camel. Let's build the giant camel. I don't know what biome these things go in. So right now I have tropical rainforest and savanna and technically wetlands to work with. 
If it doesn't fall into one of those, well, then I can't have it. Where does this long leg go? Oh, there we go. Giant camel. I can probably, where is that encyclopedia? Animals? Okay, right. Whoa. So here I can probably see G, giant uh, G. Where is GI? GI, oh, it goes giraffe, gorilla. Gibbon. Giant is supposed to be, okay, maybe it's at camel. Camel. Giant, yeah, here it is. Grassland, okay. Um, Stokosaurus and aurochs. Velociraptor, I know, is desert. Bluebuck, I know, is also grassland. So let's try Stokosaurus. Maybe that's something I can put. Although it's a predator, I can't really put that with anything, so not useful. T. There you go, there we go. Boreal forest. Is that what this is, isn't it? No, it's not. This must be temperate. Temperate forest, I see. Alright, I can build it, but can't. Uh, put it in my zoo. This is the Velociraptor. Stuxaurus. A big dinosaur. I could read up a little bit more about this one in a second. Wait. What is going on here? It heads, it's heads backwards, I see. This must be a leg, right? Just get things out of the way. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Does this not go over here somewhere? <laughs> there we go. This looks like a neck to me. Yeah. Then some intercostal ribs. That's a front paw hand. Okay, um, blue work, aurochs. Uh, um, maybe I'll build them later. But let's see. I want to read up. What is this Stokosaurus? What is Stokiosaurus? I have no idea where it comes from or. Any, I know nothing about it, basically. So the this theropod lived during the Jurassic period and became extinct about 145 million years ago. The Stokisosaurus is a mysterious creature. Very little is known. Uh, very little is known about. Relatable. Very little is known about this dinosaur. In fact, only a few bones, including a hip bone, a few vertebrae, and a partial brain case, have been found so far. The sole claim to fame, Stokosaurus clevelandi, may be related to the very popular Tyrannosaurus rex. What do they mean? Its sole claim to fame is that it might be related. Okay, I see. Let's make something. What shall we make? Not a stick, so <laughs> can't put it anyway. Uh, Velociraptor, can't predator, grassland camel, Subotherium quacha, Proto-Archaeopteryx, Kentosaurus. Those are my viable options. I'll make a one of these things.
Right, I have a diptrodon. The protodon. The protodon? Look at it. It's like a. It's actually more like a beaver. Are you semi aquatic? That would be very useful. Let's see. And it's it's a herbivore. I thought it was like a bear. Okay, that's good. It's already one of these balls in here somewhere. There it is. Does it have trouble drowning the whole time? If it is like a beaver, then it shouldn't. And that would be great, because then I can put them in here without having to rescue them the whole time. It seems to be swimming, right? Yeah, okay, it swam. Okay, let's make more of those. They're good. They just stick around there. They don't seem to have a problem. Another. It just pops it into the <laughs> into the cage over there. There we go. A little beaver thing. Someone just scream help. <laughs> Disease. Alright, that's great for me because I can use that to cure, to make money. If I make a cure, I can make money. Okay. So let's take a sample from the animal, diagnose, gather more samples around your zoo, uh, poop. Oh, that is the cause. Um, close to the might gather more samples from something. The branches. The scratching post. Weird sounds. The dinosaur. <laughs> Okay, let's press H for new research. Maybe we need some place to put all this. Uh, okay, well, they want me to research a compost heap. How am I supposed to do that? I'm 13,000 and I can't do that. <laughs> So they want me to place this place and and also scan it, but I can't. Must I just put it in quarantine or? Great, it's in it's in crate quarantine now. What must I do? I can't I can't scan a compost heap. Because I can't afford a compost heap. Also can't afford a shelter for these guys. There's actually so many of them. In my mind there was a lot of space, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. I finally got enough 
donations for the Scimitar Horned Oryx, which is where at the moment? Ah, just chilling in his little desert corner. Gather a sample from compost building so your research team can work on a cure. And they don't give me an alternative. From Lady Fern. <laughs> Stick a sample from this lady. That's hilarious. Okay, well, couldn't they have given me something that I actually have in the zoo? That would have been more practical for me well I am making profit well profits is wrong but I am making a fight against the the, <laughs> the debt I was almost 20,000 in debt now I'm just around 11,000 in debt so it's not going great but it's it is going so that's all right I knew you're not kidding. I can't make more things until I find the cure either. But that's not going to work. Like, okay, so it must have been the must be the first of the month now, because I just lost another three thousand dollars. Okay, let's see. What are my expenses? Upkeep, staff salaries is almost two thousand an animal upkeep. So I can, if I fire all of the staff, oh, the zookeepers, <laughs> I can't do that. They have homes. Oh, look, for some reason my zoo is more famous now. Coffee. And in theory, these these would have been the animals that like wolves and hippos and Nile monitors, as opposed to these drowning dinosaurs. Both of them. have a diseased animal and I can't make more animals at the lab and I don't have money this is a real conundrum and they they their privacy needs are not satisfied so I can't send them to the wild <laughs> I can delete these like six trees that'll help my financial situation by five, almost five hundred dollars more than five hundred dollars five fifty dollars fifty two six five sixty four look at that what are these bushes can we push it all the way to a thousand dollars yep what the hell two thousand <laughs> How can you not find a mate? There's literally, oh well, fair enough. One is in a box, but there's so many dodos. What was that? The, the red thing? Oh. Stimulation, don't you guys have a ball or something? Scratching post? No, dodos can't use scratching posts, <laughs> I suppose. Um, Right.
you know, I can probably delete all of this and make a decent amount of money back. Let's see. How much would it be? This would be the bulk of it. So let's start here. 2,600. That's worth it. Let me start somewhere to try and regain some money. And I'll also start by terrascaping this place, maybe. I'll go for a different approach this time. I'm gonna lower all of this like that. And then I'll smooth all of this out like that. Right, that way, easy access, but they still can't go up there. And Kentosaurus is in the water again. Okay, Proto Archaeopteryx, off to the wild you go. Where is your brother? He's blue, he shouldn't be this hard to find. There he is. Okay. Can't go through the wild just yet. My zoo has become more famous. It's because I have released it to the wild. Put some savanna. I'm just gonna quickly do that so that I can maybe flatten it a little bit here as well. Yeah, that's fine. I'm only 6,000 in debt, right? I am making progress. Happy. Happy is the best. Look how big he is. And this is his mate. Number five is his mate. And also number two. And also number four. Happy, he, happy he's been busy. <laughs> also number three. Wow, <laughs> happy you got a lot of friends. But uh, let's start repopulating the Civitherium population. Let's use my checklist here though. Four females and happy. <laughs> Seems about right. <laughs> Let's make it three females and happy. We can do the same thing for the quahas. No, it's all right. Not yet. It's in the water and can't swim. Let's put it somewhere. Is there somewhere that has a shelter? I could have sworn. Yeah, there we go. Go in there. Feel sheltered. And then I'll move you to the right biome and then, then maybe we can release you to the wild. Look, dinosaur bones. Bush antler deer. Hmm. 
There we go. Just needed some rest in the shade. Now you're in the right biome and off to the wild you go. Back to where your sister and your parents and all of the rest of the colony that I've released to the wild must be. Four thousand six hundred. I'm doing great in terms of getting money back. Let's see. In terms of releasing animals to the wild, I've sort of reached the cap. <laughs> A lot of people over here. They're saying it smells. Why are all these people so unhappy? Because this one's in the wrong environment. This one's happy. My scimitar horned oryx. So I'm on 3,800. If I can get four animals, uh, let's say six, let's just solve the six animals to, to give birth, then that's 3,000. And then the other 800 is hopefully going to be achieved through donations and entrances, admissions to the zoo. And so that's how I'll finally have a net zero. <laughs> But of course, about what is it about three thousand is going to be subtracted now in terms of zookeeper salaries. What fossils have you found for us? I can't dig for fossils either until I found a cure. But in terms of <laughs> to find a cure is not. Look at all these quachas. They're happy. Is this happy? No. But they like each other. These antelope. 2700. We're making good progress. It's going to be the end of the month and we're going to be set back a little bit again. But we're definitely moving in the direction of recovering all of our financial assets. Randomly chilling here. Is it like a thing for Vodacom to phone me while I play games in the morning? Because the occurrence of this happening is kind of ridiculous. I think every single time for the last three days. <laughs> and I've blocked them on True Caller. Mm. 
I need to find one of those websites that they always advertise where you can like see oh cool my fossil finder has been upgraded where you can like see who has your number out there and like delete it because why <laughs> why do so many companies have my number and you know what it's ever since I applied for jobs after I did my masters like that's when I when after because like, you put your number in if you do a job application and so I swear some of the people that I applied for jobs for they're selling the numbers because it's since then that I that I just <laughs> get um, calls all the time let's see this would be something new something exciting it's a a thylacine that is quite cool that's the was it called the Tasmanian tiger uh, let's see let's find a purple book somewhere thylacine and yeah it was a native to Australia and New Guinea the thylacine is also inhabited the island of Tasmania southeastern Australia thylacine Sinocephalus <laughs> extinction was due to several causes, including disease and competition with by wild dogs. But most notably, it was hunted by the farmers and bounty hunters who saw it as a pest. Last known thylacine died in an Australian zoo in 1936. Although the thylacine is a marsupial, it was the size of a small wolf and looked like a dog. Except for the parts that looked like a kangaroo. It had a tapered uh, hind end and a long, stiff kangaroo-like tail, which accounted for about half its size. It could balance upright. What? Really? That's cool. Hop on its hind legs, stabilized by its rigid tail, and also had a ready-made pouch on its abdomen in which it carried its own young. Its short coarse brownish hair was reminiscent of yet another animal with its distinctive black tiger-like stripes across the back. While the kangaroo is an herbivore, the thylacine's diet was remarkably wolf-like. It was a carnivore. Interesting. Look at this. Interesting. Temperate forest. Very interesting. Look at this parkour dinosaur. <laughs> you're a little bit different aren't you I'll give you a name oh you're number one well, where are the odds hmm. let's call you Parky Parky because you'll do parkour he likes it he's smiling there you go Parky Do the guests just hang out in this little cafeteria area? Do they actually wander to the rest of the zoo as well? Look, the paleontologist is making busy work already. Two, two things right here. So when I do one day have money, a wara. One day have money again, I need to build seats because that seems to be the the thing that people complain about the most what is this a durian isn't this something that the dodos can play with no apparently not oh well <laughs> you have a durian now enjoy was it food No, I don't know what that is. So the Ethereum 3, get out of the desert. You too, 6. Both of you as well. Oh, that's fine, you're entertaining the guests over there. Why are you really hungry? There is food. Somewhere. Here, here is a pile of leaves. That's what you eat.
Was it this one that was really hungry? Stand in front of the leaves. <laughs> there we go. Not the smartest dinosaur. And this dude just stands here and educates one person at a time. What is what is written here? Did you tell them that the that the thylacine is a marsupial? Yeah. It's got a pouch. That come sir, come back. She's telling you that the thylacine is a mass. You have to stop, sir. Look. Just not interested in being educated. Just left his trash here as well. Super Kentosaurus is going off drowning again. There's a um what? That's morbid. What killed what killed him? Surely not the Kentosaurus, that's a herbivore. Probably the Protearchaeopteryx. Well, that's... That's, uh, awkward. Let's clean this water. Why does he want to reach Kensosaurus 2 anyway? What the hell? How did you get out of the cage? These things. Let's see what other fossils I have been gifted by my hard-working paleont. Look at this! This paleontologist is like uh, good. Carnotaurus, that's a big dinosaur. Okay, balloons, thylacine. Carnotaurus. And what is this? Dino... I have no idea what that looks like. Let's see. D. Here it is. Oh, this is interesting. Dinonychus. Anteropus. <laughs> Anthero Anteropus. Lived during the Cretaceous period until its discovery. It lived until it lived in the Cretaceous period. Full stop. Until its discovery, <laughs> the, the, the dinosaurs were thought to be slow-moving herbivores. By contrast, this predator was swift and agile, and probably hunted its prey in packs. Dinonychus, I think, had an enormous claw on the second toe of each hind foot. Scientists once thought it used the claw. In a snatching movement to kill its prey, new research shows that this dinosaur more likely used it to stab and hold down prey while tearing it to shreds. With razor sharp teeth, in any case, when Dinonychus is on the rampage, look out. Very scary. It goes in the tropical rainforest. Should I put it in with my dodos and, and uh, Styracosauruses? No, probably not. Hey, that's not a good idea. Just clean all of this up. Why are you thirsty? Where are you? What? All the way over here. Go back there. In the water. Drink. <laughs> I only have a thousand three hundred dead. And it's the 17th. That's good. I'm slowly but surely 
getting back to a place where perhaps I might have profit again. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Super Diprotodon 2 has grown to adult. Um, that's awesome. And uh, I don't think Super Diprotodon 1 is going to be as lucky. Can it swim now that it's older? Come here. Nope. 800 in debt. It's going well. It's going really well. More thylacine. A wara. What is a wara? Is it like a fox type thing? Delete them balloons. 190 in debt. I'm doing better and better. Let's find out what's a wara. Wara. It is a fox. Despite the wara's probable diet of penguins, <laughs> it's a unique diet. Ground nesting birds, grubs, and insects, uh -huh. and vegetarian and vegetation <laughs> immigrants. What? <laughs> to the animals native of Falkland Islands saw it as a threat to domestic cattle and sheep its tawny coat was also prized for its thickness settlers trapped poisoned and shot do see scion australis in large numbers the last known warra was killed in 1876 tragic people come and destroy and take and 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 we are the worst This man looks like he's considering showbiz. Just staring at this stage. Horse. 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 The miracle. Look at that. I'm in green. I did not. You know, this is interesting. Every time uh, I play this thing, I usually end up with a big problem. Um, maybe I should end soon, because then I'll, <laughs> I'll have ended somewhere where it, things were going not too bad, actually. I, uh, I'm 500 in profit. I'm actually going to start researching that compost building, because I can afford it. Barely, but I can. See, we can cure the plague plagues my quarantined um, dil dodo why are these people running around like this they kind of look scared almost right we're finding the skeleton of an elephant bird Oh, okay, cool. That would also go in the wetland area, I think. Uh, this thing perpetually drowning. Silly happy. Right, before the year is done, so it's the 20th, it's Christmas. So hopefully I can make enough money to buy the compost thing, which is a thousand. And then, six ninety nine. I need 300 more dolos. Dolos is a bush. No, uh, no, don't want more staff.
Right, it's a race against time. It's so dark. Okay, here's a few bushes I can delete as well. There we go. Where shall I put this compost building? Right at the back here. Boom. And... We will analyze it. And find the cure. And we granted 4,000... Pokey dollars. It's a zoo dollars. I don't know why I'm working in dollars. The zoo is somewhere in America, maybe? I don't remember where it was on the map. Nice. And I cured my little quarantine dodo. And look how happy this then this one is to see that one. And if I can just borrow this scratching post, give it to these guys, maybe that'll help with their stimulation needs. And I can get these drowning dinosaurs out of here. In the meantime, let me make another... You know what I should make? I should make a way to make more money, which would be this. Where shall I put it? Like half, on the halfway mark here somewhere. So. Boom. Boom, just get it right in there, boom. Boom, okay. Well that. Right, let's uh, make one of these. <laughs> I have $15 left. I didn't really look, what was that? Okay. In the meantime, Kentrosaurus is drowning. Okay, that was not the best, but it's all right. Um, come here, you silly fool. Where's the scratching post? Play with the scratching post. Eight hundred dollars. So let's continue building. It's even gone over to January and I'm still in making a profit somehow. Um Do a little round trip in the dinosaur exhibit. Boom, just like that. And then we get these four seater ones. I can't afford the four seater ones. I need 850, that's so much. You know, I think I need to get a maintenance worker back. Because um, look at this mess. Let's uh, get a maintenance worker. <laughs> See, the, the trend was, as soon as I fired that, ma that previous maintenance worker, I started having money again. Were they stealing from the zoo? Right, and I can sell compost now and make a decent amount of money. This is good. Right, so get that first chair. They don't seem to be using this scratching post. 
going to sleep in shade. Sleeping in shade. <laughs> Ah, look, two, two balloons. Would you look at that? I've turned a profit somehow. Build another one of these. Okay, let's see what else I did say I was gonna have to put more seats in I didn't know let's start by finally answering the people's calls <laughs> their desperate need for more seats Right, what else should I put in here? Binoculars. Ooh, a big bathroom's not a bad idea. Okay. I would like some educational kiosks. That would be good. Put a big bathroom next to the old bathroom. I'll sell this one. 80, not a lot, but it's fine. Um, I have gift cards. A thousand for this coffee. That's so much. Why is it so expensive? Give me this discovery kiosk. Don't know exactly what it does, but I want it. <laughs> People just learn things, I think. Okay, what else can I do to increase my zoo fame? More animals, wider variety of species, educational habitats. Uh, educational zoos are more famous, guests are educated by seeing animals in their native habitats, hiring educators helps as this grouping compatible Biomes? How do you group compatible biomes? People are not exactly lining up for this thing. These things keep falling in the water. <laughs> Costs a thousand five hundred. That is many, but it is probably worth it. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Try and boost the educational aspect of my zoo. Should we do some population control? How many of what do we have? I have, I can stand here and see I have three civitherium, many quacha, one scimitar horned oryx. Let's add, let's add a good old civitherium. Ah. All right, there you go.
So Ethereum 2 needs more space. What do you mean? Oh, uh, they're sort of trapped a little bit in here, I see. This one's in the water again. <laughs> Same age-old problem. Um, right, let's try and smooth this out a little bit more then. I mean, all those are fine, they're just chilling there. Okay, let's get this kiosk that I researched. Don't know if it's gonna be worth it, but, oh well, there we go, we have it now. More donation boxes, that's what I need. Right here. Just remind people they need to donate. Look at this mess. Where is the maintenance worker that I hired? Okay, let's add more trash cans here as well. Definitely necessary. Okay, so people are not lining up, but they're here. Maybe I'll get a few of the cheaper ones as well. 340 versus 850. Upkeep 70, upkeep 25. Hmm. No, I think I'll get the, the more expensive one, rather. <laughs> Take more people at a time. Although it's not even at full capacity. No, it doesn't make sense to get the... I'll get a few of the... Okay, I got, I'll get two, apparently, of the small ones. Right. Okay, well, I've turned a profit. The zoo is doing all right. The biome is not suitable for... Go over there. I've added another one of them. How many... Oopsie. So I, now I just have to make my zoo more famous. How many of the protodons do I have? Two, male and female. So I'll add some of them next time. I want to get rid of the Kentosauruses. Got enough Quachas and Starachosauruses and those things got a nice little lift to generate income i have at least 12 dodos um so the zoo's actually doing pretty good now the zoo is actually doing pretty good uh, what can i do to increase education entertainment and guest happiness and then obviously number of species but cool we we're actually going to start at a decent place next time. Cool. Well, I'm going to call it here while well, things are good. Boom. Save. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cool.